Hello my dear FMG friends, this is Dr. Rajiv Dhawan, your ENT faculty and here I am to share with you what to do in last one week before the 4th June 2022 FMG examination. Let us start from 28th of May and 28th of May belongs to first year subject revision. So one day means 12 hour of minimum study. So on 28th May, 4 hour for anatomy, 4 hour for physiology and 4 hour for biochemistry. 29th May, we do second year subjects, again 4 hour pathology, 4 hour pharmacology and 4 hour microbiology. Then we come to 30th May and 30th May is for the third year subject revision. Divide this day into two parts, 6 hours you do eye, ENT and forensic medicine. 2 hour eye, 2 hour ENT and 2 hour forensic medicine and the remaining 6 hours belong to this revision of PSM subject. Now come the 31st May. Let us revise on 31st May surgery and orthopedics. The most important thing is you should be doing you know major part surgery revision and along with that orthopedic revision and yes on this day you must devote one and a half to two hour for radiology revision also. Then comes the next day. On this day you do medicine and you know pediatrics, you do derma, psychiatry and of course anesthesia revision on that day. Guys, divide this 1st June in some parts like, you know, major 6 hour you do the medicine revision and the remaining part you take for pediatrics and anesthesia, derma and psychiatry revision. Now comes the 2nd June. Now 2nd June, please do revise all TND papers. With all the subject you should go through, all the important questions, you have got a test and discussion papers with you, revise all those TND papers on 2nd of June. Now last day, one day before exam, 6 hours let us do the revision of again important images of radiology, surgery, then pathology and dermatology. Okay, and along with that, please do revise the stagings and the classification of tumors of various subjects. And the last six hour on the 3rd of the June belongs to you. You decide what you want to do on 3rd of June second part because you know which subjects are stronger for you and you want to go through them one more time to make it the strongest for you. And then come the 4th June examination and we'll definitely meet again. We'll discuss the exam day strategy also in the due days to come, just few days before the examination. Good luck. You are doing very well. Trust yourself. You may not know everything but everything, but you know sufficient enough to pass the examination. The only thing you need to do is, please do a structured revision, a fast revision, a quick revision, a high yield revision. Do not waste too much time in revising one subject. Now the time is to look at the headlines, the important points and the high yield area of your notes. Okay, let us keep on working together. May you everyone pass.